we're gonna run. So I will give you that. Thank you. Sign me up. Okay. All right. Love you. Uh, Hannah. Eight o'clock. Sharp. <laughs> Thank you so much for signing up. So look forward to seeing you at the festival. Okay, bye. Thanks. Katie, hi. Hannah. What are you doing here? Oh, my law firm's official sponsor this year, so I'm running all the meet and greets with the contestants. Face of the festival, as you might say. Wow, it's a great photo. Thanks. Is registration still open? Yes, right over there. Just log in your name, division, and contact info. Thanks. Bye. Christy, come on. So, what do you say, Dad? I think it's a great idea. You do? But in a few years. You gotta be at least 12 years old, sweetheart. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Says who? The law, kiddo. You know Miss Hanover said it was the best dog sitter she ever had. I know she did. But kids are a lot different than dogs. I'm sorry, kiddo, but babysitting's out of the question until you're just a little bit older. Gavin McQueen. <laughs> Katie, hi. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? More like, what are you doing here? Thought we'd sign up for the kite festival. No, I mean, back in town. I thought you were still in Chicago. Just moved back. Is your dog friendly? He is. And he loves scratches behind his ear. <laughs> his name is Rusty. Are you signing up for the festival? My dad is. We just moved here, and he thinks it's something I'll like. You just moved here? That's exciting. I guess, but I've never flown a kite before, so not sure if I'll like it. You've never flown a kite before? Well, in these neck of the woods, kite flying is a kid's rite of passage. Do you want to try? Really? Sure, why not? So right here, this is your line. You're gonna make sure it's nice and taut and tight, okay? I'll pull back while you run. Uh, start to my while <laughs> watching him, thank you. Okay, you go this way? All right, you ready? Well, I'm surprised that your parents didn't mention that when I saw them. When did you see them? I'm doing the transfer on the title of the house for you, silly. <laughs> I just didn't know you would be moving into it so soon. Yeah, my mom said they had an attorney, but she never mentioned it was you. Well, now you know. I always thought you'd make a good lawyer. Because I would always get my own way. <laughs> Dad, over here! That's my daughter. She'll probably go get her signed up. Oh, hey, wait. Uh, pull out your phone. Let's exchange numbers. Phone. Come on. All right, there you are, and I just airdropped you my contact info. Got it. Call me. Will do. We should talk business, pleasure, catch up. It's been way too long. Yeah. Yeah, it has. See ya. Dad, you watching? Over here! Sure am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was some really good flying. Thanks for letting me try. Of course. Nice keel. What's the keel? It's this vertical piece of sail here. It's kind of like the keel on a boat. It keeps the kite stable, and there's also a spot where you can attach a flying line without a brittle. I hope it was okay that I let her fly it. Of course it was okay. Thank you. I'm Hannah. Hannah Adams. Gavin McQueen. Wait. Hi, Shirley Adams' little sister? Younger sister. I'm actually an inch and a half taller than her now. I never would have recognized you. Yeah, back then I was sporting braces and glasses, and the winning combo has a way of disguising one's looks. Were those glasses bright pink? Good memory. Yeah, and you used to take music lessons from my mom, didn't you? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I'm actually a music teacher myself, all thanks to your mom. She was so inspiring. I also remember that she made the best lemonade I think I have ever had. Still does. Did you know my dad is reigning kite champion? Oh, he is, is he? According to my father, I still hold the title from when I was 16 years old. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but somebody broke your record. No. Many years ago. Who? Who was it that took my title? All I remember is that she was wearing a stellar pair of hot pink glasses. You? <laughs> yep, -er. And here I've been bragging all these years, never realizing. Looks like I'm gonna have to work on my fight skills to get that title back. Looks like you might. Okay, I don't want to keep you two because registration is about to close and you definitely need to sign up. See you around? Well, if this park is your new kite training ground, you definitely will. 
I live in the cottage down the beach, so keep the music down, will you? I will try. Bye, Rusty. There you go. Come on, Parks, get you signed up. So what do you look like? Older. Bald. Bullhead. Hot belly. But short. Still 6'1". You do know I'm standing right here, don't you? It's just inquiring minds want to know, sweetheart, you know, what he looks like. I played hockey with Gavin for years. Great guy. Oh, my sexy hockey husband. <laughs> Wait, so you guys are friends? Sure, I was friends with him. Athletic, smart, a woodworker. Lost his wife a few years back. Lost his wife? A widower? Right, that's why I'm in the back, you know? Be closer to family. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Hannah, hey. You look fabulous. Jim, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, your sister invited me. She knows how to throw a good party. She certainly does. Well, thank you so much for coming. Oh, it's your birthday. I wouldn't miss it. Although I would have, considering you didn't call me back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Hey, listen, I was thinking, uh, I told you about the new yacht that I bought. Maybe you and I could have a little... There's my birthday, girl. Hey. <laughs> Mind if I steal her for a moment? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, we'll talk later. Of course. Thank you. Sounds like a nice fella. Oh, my gosh, you sound just like Shirley. Point taken. Got something for you. What is it? What's your mother's? Her pendant? I thought you were saving this for my first one. I just felt like this birthday was the perfect time to give it to you. Because you've lost hope that I'm getting married and having kids? Because I thought it would look beautiful around your neck tonight, and always, and also because I thought your mother would have wanted you to have it by now. Wow, it's the most beautiful gift I've ever received. Your mom sure would have loved to have been here with you today. In this way, part of her still is. Hey, I brought my guitar, and your sister set out the piano. Want to do a song together? What song? Mom's. When she wrote to you? Please? Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming tonight to celebrate. It means the world to me. Or means the world to my sister. <laughs> Joking. Uh, tonight, my dad and I are going to perform a very special song for you, and we hope you enjoy. Close my eyes and fall into your arms Cause I know I'm safe where you are And I'll be yours this time I cross my
keep those suitcases plus all my boxes. Divan sheets? Me and my bed. And yours. Game strong. I'm gonna go explore the beach and write in my journal. Hey, you wanna try and fly this? Looks like one of Grandpa's custom kites. You think I'll fly? Can't hurt to try. Plus, I wanna get my kite out on the water, too. Okay, I'll meet you down there. Be careful around the water. I know, Dad. Much more my style. Good job. Great lesson today, Isabel. Thanks, Hannah. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Oh, and hey, don't forget to practice. I will. Bye. 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 Rusty? Rusty? Where are you, boy? Do you think there's enough wind? Hope so, because while you're flying this, I'm going to be trying to catch some wind with my own kite. You hold it and I run. Sound like a professional kite flyer already. Ready, go! <laughs> nice! Dog? Looks like they might be a match made in heaven. <laughs> Looks like that. Rusty's a bit of an escape artist lately, and lucky for me, he loves the beach, so I always know where to find him. He's really good at ball. It's his favorite pastime. You know, I used to talk to my neighbor's dogs, so I could always watch him for you. You know, I think Rusty would love that. Can we play for a bit longer? Stay for glass lemonade? Won't be as good as my mom's, but close. Sure. Why not? So is your place just over there? Yeah, it is. I heard music coming from there earlier. I figured it might be you. Oh, you did, did you? Mm-hmm. Well, I will be sure to keep it down. No, don't. It was beautiful. Reminds me of when I was a kid. My mom was always playing and singing in the house. So how does it feel to be back? Pretty good, except for a couple decorating dilemmas. <laughs> hey, how would you rate your artistic eye? Depends on the project. I got this piece of art, can't figure out where it fits. Thought maybe a woman's perspective might help. Well, let's see this piece of art. <laughs> it's not really working. That's what I thought. Kitchen? Okay. Maybe the dining room? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where did it come from, anyways? Fundraiser. Hope it was for a good cause. Was. <laughs> a woodworking shop? Yes, let's try it. Um, still doesn't work. <laughs> no. I'm determined. It will find its home eventually, which might just be through donation. <laughs> Wait, you're not gonna sell it? It looks expensive. No, I'm not really a material things type of guy. I could care less if I get something for it. Wait, are you making this? Yeah, it's a tetrahedral. A tetra what? A tetrahedral kite. It's a pyramid kite. Different tiers. Oh, I got it. Yeah, my dad made me one when I was a kid. Figured I'd give it a go. What talent. Kind of runs in the family as a hobby. My dad was a kite builder, is a kite builder, and taught me when I was a kid. It's likely what inspired me to become a woodworker. You know, crafting and building things from scratch. Are these yours too? Yep. This one here is a reclaimed piece of Douglas fir. Oh. Turning it into shutters for a friend of mine. So gorgeous. You know, my sister and brother-in-law are looking for a long reclaimed wood table for their restaurant. And it's their 10 year wedding anniversary coming up. So maybe I could commission one from you as a surprise for them. Absolutely. I'll just see measurements of the place, but I'd be more than happy to. Oh, great. This house is still so beautiful. 
It's certainly my mom's dream house when my dad built it. <laughs> so pretty lucky it's mine now. And hopefully one day it'll be Parker's too. That's really sweet. Yeah, I just feel like we're gonna be unpacking forever. <laughs> I never realized we had so much stuff. Well, do you want some help? Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, a music teacher. Yeah. Children? No. I mean, someday, I hope, but. I meant, do you teach children? Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, I do. I teach just kids. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Is this Parker's mom? Yeah. Yeah, it's her. She, uh, she passed a few years ago. I'm sorry. She's really beautiful. Parker looks a lot like her. Spitting image. I bet that was really hard. It was. But it's getting easier now. Finally, it feels like things are starting to go back to normal, which I never thought was possible. I bet. Her not being with us anymore, the change it brought, it really taught Parker and I to be happy and thankful for the present. Letting go of love was hard, but I can only hope that it'll find its way back one day. Very philosophical. I know. It's just <laughs> things that run through my head. Well, if you need help with Parker ever, I am totally here to help. Well, I was thinking when you said that you teach music lessons. Well, Parker's been doing these online singing and dance videos. Oh, I know the ones. Yeah, she's obsessed with them. Anyway, I thought it would be wise to harness that talent, get her off the iPad, and into some music lessons. Maybe we could borrow it for the table? Yeah. Although, I feel like I might be getting the better end of the bargain, considering she's my new go-to puppy sitter. <laughs> so is that a yes? Absolutely. She was right. Your lemonade is the best, Nana. Oh, so who is this she you're referring to? Hannah Adams. She said say hi. Hannah Adams? So talented. At flying kites? Well, that too. But I meant music. She moved next door, didn't she? Seems so. Is she married? I don't think so. Oh, still pretty. Didn't notice. She's very pretty, Nana. <laughs> and a super good kite flyer. And she has a dog named Rusty that she's letting me dogs it. Well, that sounds like a winning combination. So how'd you meet? Actually, it was down at the kite festival registration. And then she came over after her dog wandered over on the beach. So a little visit? Yeah, yeah I guess you could call it that. Want me to go get dad? Yeah, please. Otherwise, he'll be back there building all day, if you let him. Yeah. Nana, could you teach me how to make your lemonade? I would love it. Wow. What's this we've got here? <laughs> Ulysses, single line delta. A single line delta? Yeah. It'll increase the stability over a better wind range at the expense of a few degrees of flying angle. Anyway, I got it started for you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <sighs> I love this shop. Take it, that's why you wanted me to buy the house from you. Well, maybe. <laughs> you know I couldn't live without it. But I am so glad that you and I are back here building kites together again. The woodworking shop will always be yours, Dad. Come work in here whenever you want. Thanks, pal. And by the way, where did you dig up that old chestnut? Found that when we were unpacking. Oh, boy. That's one of my first, I think. Where'd you find it? I was in a chest up in the attic. I think your mother probably packed it away. You know, I lose a lot of stuff that way. I'm still looking for a tennis racket. So I learned something interesting the other day. Oh, what's that? You've been telling me all these years that I was the reigning kite champ, when in fact, I lost that title a long time ago. You were so proud of that title, Gav, I, I just didn't want to be the one to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And by the looks of the kite you're building, I'm going to do well this year. So you think that's your kite? 
No, no, my son. The days of your dear old dad building your prize-winning kite are long gone. That will be my granddaughter's kite. Mark is gonna love it. Hope so. Come on, let's go get some lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Did Katie Longhorn get in touch with you about the transfer of the house? She did. And you didn't think to tell me she was the lawyer you hired? Is it a problem? No. It's just, well, you know, we used to date. I did. I also remember that you broke up. She was your girlfriend? Long time ago, Parks, when I was in high school. She had a very strong personality. It didn't sit well with your father. Or with you, as I recall, Mom. Well, I just didn't think she was good for you, is all. But as a lawyer, she's fantastic. I'll go and get it all done tomorrow before I start work. Nana, Grandpa, guess what? What's up, sport? Tomorrow when Dad's at work, I get to go to Hannah's house for my music lesson, and I get to babysit Rusty. I signed Parker up for some music lessons with Hannah, and she also offered to watch her for a few hours while I work, too. Well, isn't that nice of her? Yeah. for an adventure? Always. What time should I come pick her up? I can bring her back. Just get what you need to get done here and there's honestly no rush. All right. <laughs> yeah, fine, you two. Oh, we will. Love you, Dad. Love you too, kiddo. You're gonna teach him how to walk on his hind legs? Right after I teach him to sit and stay. <laughs> okay, well, good luck. As you saw the other day, he's a little headstrong, so. If you can't get him to do anything, don't feel too bad. Are you headstrong? I'll be inside if you need me, okay? Okay. What a terrific kid she is. Are you teaching her music later? Yeah, she's pretty excited. What about her dad? Shirley. What? He's a widower, he is single, he is ready to mingle. Considering the fact you haven't seen him yet, how do you know he's ready to mingle? Uh, Brian, hello. Brian? Call it a gut instinct, but I just have a hunch. Remembering his personality and knowing you. Come on. Are you trying to say that my husband is not a love guru? An amazing chef, yes. Love guru? I have my doubts. Neil and Remy Sufi. What about them? He met them separately, introduced them, and they have been married for five years. Heather and Mike Cam. So creative together. And he called that one. Yep. Uh, Troy and Shannon Scott. And his love story of them all. And he had a gut instinct about that, too. Shall I keep going? No. I get it. Listen, I, I see that you are a better matchmaker than my sister. Stop it. And I know that you both are desperate for me to find my person, but the truth is, is I'm actually really content and happy being single. And besides, there's a lot of perks that people don't talk about. Such as? Such as reality TV. My guilty pleasure I don't have to feel embarrassed about. We're not talking about marriage. Yet. We're talking about dinner. Just getting to know each other casually, but maybe here so we can meet them. Look, I really appreciate the input, and I assure you that I am going to ponder this conversation yeah. slash proposal with deep consideration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, how big would you say this space is? Mm, uh, not sure. Is that where you wanted to put the new table? It's so hard to find something that fits in the space, but yeah. So the search continues. I'm looking for Katie Longhorn. Gavin! Hey, fancy office. Oh, you know me. I thought you said this was a small practice. Yeah, word smells relative. Fair enough. Have a seat. Your parents have already signed, so all I need is your signature. And once I have that, I can get everything filed. Thanks for doing this. Pro bono, by the way. No, oh, no, you don't need to do that. Your parents said the same thing, but I can't take any money from your family. It just wouldn't feel right. But you and your parents could take me out to dinner instead. Dinner? With my parents? Well, there's this great place that just opened up down the block. I became friends with the maitre d'. I'm sure I could get us a table. OK. Yeah, I'll check with my parents, see if they're free. Dad, we're home. I'm in the shop, kiddo. I'm going to bring Rusty inside. <laughs> OK, have fun. 
Knock, knock. Hey there. Parker is home safe, alive, and musically inspired. And she's en route to becoming a very talented dog trainer. Sounds like my kid. <laughs> Wait, are all of these your dad's drawings? Yep. So cool. <laughs> Wait, this is the spool you're gonna use? It's very classic. Yeah, we're gonna put it on this kite that my dad and I built for Parker. You know, you might just have to give me a kite building course. You've never built a kite before. You say that like I should have. Well, being a kite champ and all, I... Fair enough. But nope, always just a story about one, which has always worked, mind you. Do you have a certain style kite you like? One with a keel? <laughs> right. <laughs> it was pretty cool seeing you out on the water the other day. Thanks. Yeah, windsurfing and now winging. Kind of like a grown man's way of flying a kite. <laughs> yeah, I guess it kind of is. Nothing like the feeling of the wind in your hair, huh? No, there isn't. It's actually why I like flying kites. It's like I'm up there in the air with them. It's the best feeling ever. I can relate. So did you get a chance to scope out the joint, get those measurements? I did, actually. On a napkin. <laughs> it was all they had. That, um... A six. OK. And what's that there? Is that a... It's a... It's a... It's 12, I think. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly you're not an architect. Hey, I only claim to know about music. So any big plans for the weekend? Not really, aside from hitting up the local blueberry patch to do some picking. Blueberry patch? Mm-hmm. It's the best. Any chance you'd be interested in a little company? Uh, yeah. That would be fun. Every summer, I used to come here with my mom, and the sparkling cider was her favorite. You've been coming here since you were a kid? Mm-hmm. Roughly about your age. Do you and your mom still come? Uh, no. We don't. Sadly, my mom left us when I was a little girl. Where'd she go? Heaven. Just like my mom. Thanks for bringing us to your special spot, Hannah. Oh, you are so welcome, Pepper. So that's nice of your parents to take Parker. Finally live close enough to do sleepovers. My mom's dream. Sorry about your flat. I haven't had one of these since I was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't think I've walked along this road with a pretty girl since then either. Which I'm guessing was Katie? Nope, never with Katie. Although we did date in high school. I'm guessing you already knew that. <laughs> yeah, I remember her stopping by at the house a few times when I was there taking piano lessons. That was a long time ago. It was. So what about you? What about me? Boyfriend? Not currently. I was in a serious relationship and that ended two years ago. What happened? Well, <laughs> we fell in love. Oh. And I thought that he might be the one, but... And? <laughs> Turns out he wasn't. Right. <laughs> I don't know, we just, we wanted two different things out of life. He wanted to go to New York and explore, and 
I wanted to stay here and be close to my family. There's nothing quite like having family close by. Exactly. So he moved to New York, I stayed here. We tried the long distance thing, but ultimately it didn't work. This is bad. <laughs> no, honestly, it was for the best. Because I'm happy, really happy. And that's all one could hope for, right? Isn't that the truth? Plans? I don't know. I'm just taking life as it comes right now. I meant with dinner. Do you have any? Oh, <laughs> right. Uh, well, like I told you, I'm really busy. Mm. Yeah, pop in, throw some pizzas into the oven tonight. Pineapple? You know it. Well, there's somewhere in town that serves wood fire oven pizza with pineapple. Want to join me for a bite? Well, that depends. Do I get a drink with my meal? Only if you eat everything on your plate first. Just the place. You and Tony. Wow. What? You look nice. Really nice. Thanks. To the chariot, madame. If you mean your flatbed truck as my chariot, then of course. <laughs> I wanted to get Parker used to the water as soon as possible, so mm -hmm. I was looking online for swimming lessons for babies, <laughs> I guess is what I was Googling. And have you seen those videos with, the, like, they're not even one years old and they're just <laughs> in the water? That's really cute, though. Brian, well, well, if it isn't the infamous Gavin McQueen. Good to see you, man. You too. Looking as dapper as I remember. Why, well, thank you. I don't think it's hard to look dapper when you've got a date like that on your arm. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you, Shirley. What a great spot you two have here. Wait till you try the food. Table for two, right this way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so over there is where you think they want the table? Mm-hmm. And when did you say the anniversary was again? Same day as the kite festival. You got married at one of the kite festivals? <laughs> yeah. Locals at their finest. I'd say. So, how was everything? Oh, so good. You outdid yourself, Brian. I had to thank you. you haven't even had dessert yet. Ooh. So, you guys gonna shake a leg? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not much of a dancer. You know that. Yeah, so says everyone. Come on, Gavin, it's the lady already. I mean, he does own the joint. I think we better listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, if, if your kite flying is as good as your dance moves, I might just have some real competition this year. You just might. <laughs> Except back in our dancing days, you wear sneakers instead of dress shoes. That's true. I didn't know you two knew each other. Yeah, we're neighbors, actually. Oh. Did you have dinner here? I did. And the food is to die for. Brian is certainly the best chef in town. He sure is. Well, sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to say hi and remind you to call me. You still owe me that date. I didn't forget. And I promise I'll give you a shout as soon as I chat with my parents and can set up a time. Okay. Well, have a good evening. Bye. I don't think you have anything to worry about. I don't remember them having anything in common in high school, and I'm sure it's the same now. It's none of my business, really. She is so gorgeous, though. You cannot deny that. Oh, but so are you. She is successful and single, as are you. I just think you might have to step up your game a bit. Except I'm not playing any games. Brian is so much better at this. I'm gonna get his advice. Anyone home? Hey. Hey. Come in. Uh, we're here. Come on in. Hey, Rusty. Did you miss me? Oh, you sure did. I'm gonna get going, but you have a great piano lesson, Parker. And um, good to see you, Gavin. You too, Shirley. 
We weren't interrupting, were we? No, no. Shirley's just being Shirley, meddling in my life. What was the meddling? Oh, we were just, we were just talking about some stuff. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, Parker, if you'd like, you can take a seat here, and you can check out some of the notes that I made for you. Back soon. So I'm just gonna head over to Katie's office and meet my parents, and we're all gonna go out for a quick bite. Cool. Have a nice visit. It's just a meeting, really. Well, I'll be sure to keep Parker busy, so you don't have to worry about that. Thanks again. Of course. <laughs> Good job, Parker. Hey, do you want to write a song? Like my own song? Sure. Why not? Do you have anything in that journal there? That would be the words to the music we make? You see, lyrics are kind of like short stories, or poems, or journal entries, and some of the best songs. It's like a glimpse into the musician's mind. That's what Taylor Swift says. <laughs> Hey, what's this one? Best friends? Oh, I wrote that one about my best friend. I actually have a tune in my head if you want me to sing that for you. <laughs> I would love that. You help me laugh, you drown my tears. Because of you, I have no fears. True friends are there to get you through tough times that come that don't seem fair. So good. So good. Hey, I have an idea for the chorus. Let me know if you like this. One, four, three, four, three, two. I will always love you. I love that. Do you? Okay, why don't, you wanna try? Sure. Okay. One, four, three, four, three, two. Excuse me, I'm here to see Katie Longhorn. All right, thank you. Hey, my parents here yet? I can't make it. Really? I just spoke to them this morning. I spoke to your mom about an hour ago. She said that they were going to be late, so I suggested you and I go solo. I probably haven't had a chance to properly catch up. Oh, okay. Should we get going then? Sure. <laughs> wow, such memories. We really did have a fun time, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Should we get the check? Already? We just finished. Least she could do is treat me to some dessert. I really should tuck Parker in before she falls asleep. Isn't she nine? Just turned. Kind of old enough to tuck herself in, don't you think? <laughs> Clearly, you don't have kids. Obviously, by choice. Don't like them? I never said that. It's just after spending some time with my friend's children, I noticed a common theme. What's that? Just that kids could take advantage of their parents. Maybe older teens, yeah, but not Parker. She and I are just tight. Of course you are. I mean, she's been through a lot of these last few years, and I'm all she has now in the parent department. Well, she sounds like a phenomenal little girl, Gavin. And you need not worry about that. She is the perfect type for one to want as a stepdaughter. Stepdaughter. Well, I'm just saying, you're young, still handsome, obviously. <laughs> and one day, a woman's just gonna snap you up and voila, a stepmom for your daughter. Never thought about that before. But you know, you should really try to put your wants and needs first. Because if you're happy, then your daughter's happy. Isn't that what they say? tucked in next to you. Have you ever been married? Uh, no. Why? Perhaps I just haven't found the right person yet. My dad says the love comes in different shapes and sizes and comes to different people at different times. And sometimes when you're least expecting it. Well, your dad is a very smart man. He also says that there are no perfect partnerships or families, that every family is unique and special in different ways. That's right. 
Do you ever get lonely, though, living by yourself? Sometimes. I hope you meet the right partner, Hannah, because whichever family that gets to have you with them all the time will be really lucky. Thanks, Parker. Oh, and don't forget to... I won't forget. I will make sure your dad texts you in before bed, okay? Okay. <laughs> night, night, Hannah. Good night, Parker. so cozy, I didn't want to wake you. What time is it? Later than I hope to be home. It's fine. Your couch is really comfy. I really appreciate you watching Parker. Are you kidding me? I should be thanking her for watching me. She's such a sweet and thoughtful girl. It's really good for the soul. So, how was your date? It wasn't a date. Taking a woman to dinner would be considered... Okay, fair enough, but I only did it as a thank you because she wouldn't take payment for the work she did. It really wasn't a date. It's really none of my business. I shouldn't have asked. No, it's okay, but it wasn't a date. So how was music class? Really great. Parker seems to really be enjoying it. Each week she just keeps making more and more progress, and today we wrote an original song. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. We should get home. Oh, Parker made me swear to remind you to go tuck her in. I won't forget. Oh, Hannah. Do you think it's weird I still tuck Parker in? Weird? Yeah. Well, no, she's just a little girl. And you're her dad, her only parent. How on earth could that be weird? Yeah, I don't think so either. I just wanted your perspective is all. Oh, and I meant to ask you, do you want to join me tomorrow to go hunting for some materials for Shirley and Brian's table? Kite Festival's just around the corner and we've got to lead on some wood. Yeah, I'd love to. Great. Good night. Good night. Bestie, come on. We do our nighttime prayers. Of course, honey. Now I lay me down to sleep. I praise the Lord my soul to keep. May God guard me through the night and wake me with the morning light. God bless Daddy, Nana, Grandpa, Rusty, and Hannah, who I really, really like. Do you ever think our family will change? What do you mean? Well, first you had Mommy before you had me. And then you had mommy and me. And now you just have me. Best little girl in the whole world. So I'm happy for that. I know, but if there's someone new to be a part of our family, well, I'd be happy with that too. Good to know. <laughs> Get some sleep, kiddo. I love you. Love you too. been friends since I can remember. Gavin, is that you? In the flesh, how are you? Oh, much better now that I'm seeing your face. Oh. And this is? This is Hannah Adams. Hannah, meet Betty Ann. Hey. You wouldn't be Henry Adams' daughter, would you? I sure am. <gasps> your father and I are old pals. Tell him I say hi, would you? I definitely will. Oh. You know, I've known this boy since he was yay high. Cutest little fella you ever did see. And you still are. <laughs> Stop, you're making me blush. <laughs> so your mom tells me something about you wanting to make use of my old things? Yeah, what do you have? Well, we have a garage full of antiques, wood, junk. We're just looking to unload. 
just too much stuff. <laughs> Anyhow, go on in, take a look, and help yourself to anything that might suit you. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> she wasn't kidding. This is a lot of stuff. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, we got a paddle. <laughs> really dusty basketball. <laughs> What about this? Yeah, I think it's uh, really not gonna work. Table. Yeah. <laughs> this. A vintage kite building book. Vintage is right, that is old. It is. <laughs> I've never seen kites like this. It's like a piece of art. That one there's a hunting hawk style kite. From start to finish probably took 15 to 20 days to craft. Wow. Made from bamboo and silk. Yeah, everything's hand painted. I love this quote. The most important thing in kite making is achieving balance as it is with human beings. It is believed that if the kite is built for someone that holds your heart, and the kite will soar like the love which fostered its creation. Should we see what else is in here? <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> oh, very dapper. My fair lady, my house is done. <laughs> <laughs> you think the spider on the top of your hat like dance of its own? Wait, are you kidding? I'm joking. <laughs> That's not funny. Kind of is. Okay, it's kind of, <laughs> kind of funny. Oh well. Look what we have here. Is this our new table? It's perfect. So how did you get into this? Hunting barns? <laughs> no, making furniture out of recycled wood. Well, I spent most of my childhood in our woodworking shop, watching my father in awe, building new creation after new creation. That was the beginning. I can imagine. And then I went to Parsons School of Design. I remember every day on the way to school, seeing this homeless man. I mean, he never asked me for money or anything. He just wanted my feedback on his new piece every week. You know, pieces of wood that would start out as one thing and then end up another. You know, like a crummy old side chair. Yeah, and I remember looking at his stuff and wondering what he could possibly make from that. Another chair? <laughs> yeah, you'd think, but no. He hand carved the wood from an entire table into this. Uh, it's impossible to describe, but just trust me, it was the most awesome piece of recycled wood art I'd ever seen. And then he would sell them? Oh yeah, for quite a lot too. Turns out he wasn't homeless after all, but the guy actually rented a pretty spectacular apartment above where he worked. He just liked working on the streets. I realized then that I'd made an assumption, and that taught me that nothing is what it seems. Artifacts, slabs of wood, even people, you know, everything and everyone is just waiting to become something more. Waiting for an invitation into that new adventure. You should probably Yeah, probably get that. my mom or Parker. Hello? I'm not interrupting, am I? Actually, I'm just in the middle of I want to thank you again for the meal. Oh, it was my pleasure. Also, I have the receipt for the sale. Should I drop it off or? No, it's fine. I'll just come by and grab it this week. The connection, Spotty. Are you in your shop? No, actually, I'm just out grabbing some wood for a gift I'm making. Who's the gift for? Or is that a surprise? No, it's for Hannah. Well, it's from Hannah for someone else. Hannah. Great. Well, that's nice of you. Again, thanks for all your help. Sure. Talk soon. Bye. 
Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. You wanna get going? Yeah. All right. Thanks for the company. <laughs> Ryan was so eager at first, but then I don't know what happened. Well, I'm happy to be your new workout buddy, but I cannot guarantee that it's gonna last longer than a week either. <laughs> hey, I know you know this, but that Katie Longhorn is a very persistent person. <laughs> and if she is chasing Gavin, she is not gonna quit until she gets a clear message. Well, good thing I'm not chasing him, right? And if she is, I mean, all the power to her. All I'm saying is that until you hear otherwise, trust your intuition. Trust my intuition until I hear otherwise. Got it. <laughs> oh, hey, what about that? Suit? 10 year anniversary. Maybe something fancy? After the Argyle sweater I bought him last year, he told me I'm never allowed to shop from again. <laughs> I can't believe it's already been 10 years. It feels just like yesterday. I know. Have you guys made any plans yet? I think we're just gonna celebrate at the kite festival party. I mean, everyone we love's gonna be there anyways, and got married there after all. I think that's perfect. Hey, I'm gonna grab a tea. Do you want one? No, I should probably get to the grocery store before it closes. But call me later? Yeah. Okay, okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Katie, hi. I needed a caffeine pick-me-up. It's been an exhausting day at the office. Oh, I was just about to grab one myself. So are you excited about the kite festival this week? <laughs> Always. You know, it's something I just never really got into, but being the face of the festival, I figured this year I might. Well, it might sound silly, but flying a kite is really therapeutic. You know, being in control of something that's taken flight, it's also a lot of fun. I'm sure Gavin and his daughter will be participating. <laughs> yeah, I think they are. So Gavin tells me you've been babysitting for him. Babysitting? Well, babysitting, nannying. I, <laughs> I really can't tell the difference between the two. I take it you've been a nanny before? Oh, I, no, I'm, I'm actually a music teacher. <laughs> for children. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, you have perfect nanny written all over you. Something I'm sure he needs right now. Well, I just wanted to thank you again for watching Parker. Mm -hmm. Gavin and I really appreciate it. It's great running into you. Yeah, you, you too. What you think? It's perfect, Dad. <laughs> Looks like you've been a pretty busy guy. Custom table? Sure is. Been working on it in the evenings after Parker falls asleep. Uh huh. And this little light reading on the side? <laughs> it's a vintage kite building book I found with Hannah. I've been thinking I might give one of these a go. You're quite the craftsman, Gav. I'm really looking forward to seeing the end result. Come on. Let's go and uh, surprise our girl, hmm? No peeking. I'm not, Nana. Okay, you can open. Ta-da! Is that for me? It sure is. Your dad and I made it so that you could fly it in the festival this year. And Ulysses Single Line Delta Kite. Grandpa's specialty. And it has an extra strong anti-tangle line that makes getting the kite in the air and recovery from crashes a breeze. <laughs> I love it, Grandpa. Thank you. You're welcome, Pumpkin. I have to go to Hannah's house now for my music lesson, but can we fly it later? We sure can. Sweetheart, why don't you see if Hannah might come over and say hello? I haven't seen her in years. I will, Nana. <laughs> Helmet. I know, Dad. So, how is Hannah? She and Parker become really close, as you can see. And you? Have you two become really close? Margaret, let the boy have some privacy. I'm just asking. We have, Mom. She's a really special person. I think I smell a record deal coming on. You're being silly. No, I'm being serious. You are so good. Hard work pays off. So, my grandpa made me a kite with my dad, but I think it was mostly my grandpa. <laughs> what a gift. Are you gonna fly it at the festival? I am. Wanna come see it? I do, but I was actually just about to walk Rusty. You can walk him over to my house. My nana told me to invite you over too. 
Do you think she'll make some of her famous lemonade? She always does. <laughs> We're back! Did she get a flat tire, too? <laughs> nope, she insisted on locking Rusty, so I wheeled it in. I'm gonna go chain with Rusty. Okay. Hannah Adams, get over here for a hug. <laughs> it's so nice to see you, Mrs. McQueen. Listen, you're not my student anymore. Call me Margaret. Gosh, I've missed you. I've missed you. <laughs> so, my granddaughter tells me that you've been teaching her how to write songs. I have. <laughs> and I think it's safe to say that she takes after a certain someone. That means a lot. <laughs> Lemonade? You read my mind. <laughs> Here, why don't you go? So how's things? Things are actually really great. You know, I've just been keeping busy with my son and granddaughter, I hear. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess I have. Hmm? And babysitting? Yeah, uh, I love spending time with Parker. No, I meant that you've been letting Parker babysit Rusty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Yes, I have, as you can tell. Stay, oh. stay. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock! Hello? Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to join us for dinner. I thought we might just Gavin? order in. Gavin! Kevin! Katie! Mr. and Mrs. McQueen, what a nice surprise. I'm so sorry to barge in. I was just in the neighborhood and wanted to stop by, but also, I have the title to the house. I thought I was coming by to pick that up. Don't be silly, you're practically family. And who makes family run around picking things up? <laughs> well, that's very kind of you. Thank you again. I also brought some pizza. I got two, so there's enough for everyone. You really didn't have to do that, Katie. Really. I thought it was appropriate, since you did take me out to that very fancy dinner the other night. I got him to bark on command. <gasps> you did? Oh. Yeah. Speak, Rusty, speak. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Parks. <laughs> well, you must be Parker. Hi. Hi. You know, your father spent the entire evening talking about you the other night. So much that I feel like I know you. So I saw this and thought it would make the perfect gift. Go ahead and open it up. Because what girl doesn't need a little pizzazz in her life? Thank you. It has sparkle just like you. I'm just gonna sneak a peek here. Sean. Because... Oh, that smells good. <laughs> uh, well, I think I'm actually gonna head home, but it was so lovely seeing all of you. And Parker, your kite has champion flyer written all over it. Why don't you stay and join us for dinner? Please, Hannah, do. Please, Hannah, please. Honestly, I, I really have to get home. But it was really nice seeing you again. And I hope you guys have a nice evening. Rusty, come on. When I saw her in town, she referred to me as Parker's babysitter. I think that constitutes us hearing otherwise. I think you need to go back over there and tell him how you feel. This has gone on long enough. Are you sure? Isn't that a bit bored? After everything you've told me? No, it's called being an adult and putting your heart and your truth out there. It's been great. Thanks very much for everything. Yeah, thanks for coming. We'll see you soon. Yeah. You know, I've never given advice to you. No, you haven't. Probably because you never needed it. And now I do? You just have to be honest with yourself, Gav. Sometimes the painting doesn't match the wall. And just because it's familiar, it doesn't make it match any better. Sometimes you just need to be honest with yourself and those around you, just so you can fully move on. What are you trying to say, Mom? I think you know. All right. See ya. Have a good night. Good night. Good night now. <laughs> Perfect. 
Uh, I tried that spot before. It doesn't quite fit. Really? I think it matches perfectly. Mm. Just not my style. But that's a Jasper Keating. You know that's worth a fortune, right? Do you want it? Want it? Consider it packed in my car. <laughs> so, how about a nightcap? Can't. I got some work I need to get done. Oh, come on. Just one cup of tea. I'm kind of on a deadline, so. <laughs> Honestly, Gavin, you should know by now, I never take no for an answer. So you have everything? Everything I came with, but not everything I came to catch. Do you hear that? No. I was just uh, checking to see if Rusty came over here. You got out. Well, here, I'll come help you look for him. No, 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 uh, it's okay. I'm sure he just circled back home. Do you want to come in? Uh, no. Everything okay out there? Yeah, everything's fine. Please, come in. I lied. Rusty didn't get out. Okay, the reason I'm over here is because I needed to tell you that I... I like you, Gavin. You do? I do. Now I'm realizing that I should have read the writing on the wall or even listened to Katie even, and I'm, I'm just, I'm really, I'm really sorry that I've interrupted your night. What are you talking about? Just, just forget that I came over here and forget that I said anything, please, okay? Hannah, wait. I really, I really gotta go home. I got ice cream. Melting. Just like me in this conversation. Who was that? Anna. What did she want? Something bothering you? Did you see her recently? Yes, earlier with you. I mean another time. What are you trying to ask me? Did you say anything to her? I just thanked her for you. You thanked her? For her babysitting and nannying services, I said you were appreciative. We? Well, me, you, us, you know? Listen, uh, Katie, you're a terrific person. Really, you are, uh, but this, us, isn't a thing. Isn't a thing. I'm sorry if I gave you any other impression. I understand. Best of luck with everything. I'm just gonna huh? pick this fix.
Me too, sweetheart. But I'll see you next lesson, okay? Okay. And I'll hold Bye. Bye. Your hand when life gets hard. Okay. Do you want to have better control you over it? Just hold the string like Grandpa does. Yeah. Really good. Love is patient. Sister tells me you've been working a lot lately. I took on a couple of new students, nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. She also tells me you've been a bit gloomy as of late. I know that I'm your old man, but I believe it was you that said one gets wiser with age. Pretty sure that was Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever it was, it's the truth. Come on, what's got you? Pains of the heart. Oh, pains of the heart. Yeah. I totally misread a relationship. I mean, I've just never felt so relaxed spending time with someone before. And in this case, it wasn't just him, it was his daughter, too. I don't know. Spending time with him just felt right, if that makes any sense. And why do you think you won't be spending time with them again? I will, and I have, with Parker, who I've grown to love. But you think he might have fallen in love with her dad, too? I thought or hoped that the feelings would be mutual, but I was wrong. Have I ever told you the story of how I met your mother? No, actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so when I met your mom, I was going to study with another girl. OK. <laughs> and your mother had this job waitressing at the diner down in town, and my girlfriend loved their chocolate shake shoes, always dragging me down there to get her one. Why do I feel like this is going to be a really long story? <laughs> <laughs> now, this girlfriend and I were never the perfect fit. Um, I knew that from the very first date, but she was nice enough. And it seemed that because she liked me, I should stick with it. Because I wasn't quite as handsome back then as I am now. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> but in all seriousness, the instant that I laid eyes on your mother, and then talked with her. Well, I knew. You knew what? That she was the one. The problem was that I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. So there I was, taking Leslie Bingham down to the diner at every request, spending a fortune on chocolate milkshakes, but only so I could see and talk with your mom. So what happened? What happened was I broke it off with Leslie and. Five months later, I asked your mom to marry me. So the moral of the story would be? I don't know if there's a moral to this story. Except your mother always told me she felt the exact same way during all those diner visits. So if you're feeling something for Gavin McQueen, something special, I would bet my pretty pennies that he is feeling the exact same thing, too. Are you ready yet? Almost. Something bothering you? I don't know. 
What's going on? Are you in an argument with Hannah? Why would you think that? I've had my lessons with her, but she hasn't come over recently. No, I know. I really like Hannah, Dad. I like the way she sings, the way she puts me to bed at night, and when she tells me stories about when she was a little girl. But most of all, I love how you are with her. You smile a lot and laugh, and it reminds me how of you are when Mom's left. And since she hasn't been coming over, you've kind of been sad again. Come here. You know what? What? I love all those things about Anna, too. What do you think? Should we tell her how we feel? Come on, I got something to show you. Is this for Hannah? Sure is. Bring your kite, Dad? Did I bring my kite? I am a McQueen. We always bring our kites. One for me and one for you. A tetrahedral kite from when I was a kid. <laughs> well, you didn't think I got rid of it now, did you? Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Do you think Hannah's here yet? Not yet, kiddo. I'm sure she'll be here soon. Welcome to Seaside's annual kite festival. First up is the novice division. Flyers, find your flying ground. That's me. That's you. <laughs> right over there looks like a great spot. Go get a park. We'll oh, watch how it's done, there. sport. Cheering you on. I like your butterfly kite. Hello. Hannah, you came. Where's your game, silly? I wouldn't miss the chance to see you compete ever. Have you seen my dad? Not yet, but I'm about to compete with him soon. Okay, hey, you remember what I taught you when we first met? Keep the line taut. That's right. And if she starts to flounder, you're gonna run and then you're gonna pull it in, okay? Got it. You got this. On your mark. Get set. Fly. And they're off. for you earlier. I had to help my dad untangle his line. Yeah. Parker did well. Thanks to your training. Oh, hey. Look what I brought. <gasps> She's brought back the pink glasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On your mark, get set, and fly! You're going down, McQueen. Now we're just flying a homemade tetrahedral kite. While Hannah is flying a more traditional multicolored kite, this competition is last man or woman standing, so the last kite in the air wins. You may also notice some familiar faces. Each competitor today was a winner from previous festivals. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the ultimate in kite flying competition. And we have a kite down. And another one. Who's winning, Grandpa? Well, it, it all depends on the win, kiddo. Um, both are pretty great flyers, so we'll just have to see. 
could be a draw. Looks like we're losing our audience. Are you trying to distract me right now? No, why would I do that? <laughs> hey, get back over there. I kind of like being close to you. <laughs> She's purposely trying to tie her up. Well, I should hope so. They've been flying for over an hour now. Yeah. We are down to a final two competitors. It's two of us. Uh, it's a close one. It is. Oh. Oh. Wait. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no. 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 Oh. Oh. Uh, wait. Does that mean I'm the winner? We have a contest. Congratulations. Thank you. So that's it. Must be. <laughs> So happy for you, sweetheart. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> hey, can I talk to you? Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Okay. What's up? Great flying out there today. Yeah, there's some good wind. You really caught some air. Hannah, listen, I need to apologize for anything I said or did to get between you two. I guess you could say I was just being jealous. Something I need to work on. But he is a catch, Hannah. As are you. And from where I'm standing, you two are nothing short of the perfect match. You really think so? I do. Can I get everyone's attention, please? Sounds like it's a war time. Should we get up there? Yeah. Let's go. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy the festivities. What a lineup we have here. One thing you might notice is that the stage is stacked with a particular family. So it's no wonder that the runner up in the expert flying competition is another McQueen. Gavin McQueen, get on up here. You know, the first time I flew in one of these festivals, I was six years old. My dad, the handsome chap most of you know behind me, <laughs> built me a tetrahedral. This one here. This kite is, uh, let's just say it's pretty old. But it's more than that. It represents the bonds of family. Strength, commitment, and love. Love that has been unkept and free and love that has found its way back. As many of you know, I moved back here with my daughter after several years of living away. And I gotta say, I am so happy that we made that decision. For many reasons, this place is special. Have our family, old friends, this festival, but it's become even more special for us because of new friends. And specifically, one particular person. The same person who just so happens to have beat the socks off me in the competition today. <laughs> Hannah Adams. Told you. Come on up here and get this trophy. Let's hear for flowers, everyone! Getting here, but I'm ready. <laughs> okay, I was so important I should break up and dance because this man has been working on his moves for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> nice table, wow. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, because it's yours. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Gavin made it for the restaurant. Happy anniversary, you <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I know what to say. Group hug. Or thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Thank you. So welcome. <laughs> incoming, incoming. Huh? What? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> What's this? It's for you. <laughs> Wait, is this? Um, it's beautiful. Remember that quote? The most important thing in kite making is achieving balance, just as it is with human beings. It is believed that if a kite is made for someone who holds your heart, and the kite will soar with the love that fostered its creation. 
And love most certainly fostered this creation. It did? Yeah. It did. First saw you in a crowd. Even with these glasses? Your life. Mm, even more of those glasses. <laughs> you turned and smiled at me in the whole world it disappeared I was in so deep